Exercise during pregnancy. Should you do it? Some people think that you don't really need to exercise or you shouldn't exercise during pregnancy, but we're here to tell you that you should. So in this episode, we're going to talk about exercise during pregnancy and also how to do it together to make it fun, to make it interesting and to stay motivated. So with that said, let's talk about it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. You know what they say, right? What? Movement is medicine. Movement is medicine. I like that. Mm -hmm. Movement is medicine. And so if movement is medicine just throughout your everyday like life, not being pregnant, of course, you know, it's so important during pregnancy. I know, like you said in the intro, um, some people feel like it's not necessary, but research has shown that movement and exercising during pregnancy is not only good for the mom, it's good for the baby, and it's good for the relationship. Yeah, and it's good for your mental health. Exactly, exactly. There's a lot of benefits to exercising mm -hmm. um, at any point, like pregnant or not, but mm -hmm. definitely when you're pregnant because you're you're building your strength up and you're building your health mm -hmm. to where it needs to be but also it's it's good and it's healthy for the baby as well yeah and like we said it's good for the relationship mm -hmm. because doing it together and also motivating like for me as as the man you know it's good to motivate my woman to make sure that she wants to work out and that she wants to exercise and and making it fun mm -hmm. and also going for walks just going for walks is yeah. is essential i mean like you don't have to do anything extraneous exactly. you don't have to be doing marathons or anything like that but just going for a simple 30 minute walk exactly. that makes a huge difference mm -hmm. and doing it consistently i think just doing that is good enough but yeah. then also adding a little bit of strength training in there, mm -hmm. going to the gym, doing some squats. Mm -hmm. These things are going to help you in the long run. It's going to also help the delivery of your baby as well. And these are things that we've learned, you know, through our OBGYN. Mm -hmm. um, but we, you know, we've done our own research as well. Yes. And we're both fit and active people already. So the transition for us isn't too difficult. Mm -hmm. And you are a very active person already. Mm -hmm. And you were active before the baby. And... I'm happy and I'm so pleasantly pre pleasantly surprised, but I'm actually not even surprised. <laughs> I'm not even surprised because this woman, I mean, in the third trimester, 37, 38, 39 weeks, she's going to the gym. She's doing her squat. She's going for 30 <laughs> minute walks or more. And I'm like, wow, she's just handling pregnancy with such grace. And I've given you your credit before, yeah. but I'm going to say it again. You, you are... What did I say? I said, they're going to write in the history books about oh, you. Oh, <laughs> wow. I, if they do, thank you. Ooh, thank yeah. you. Uh, um, no, but it, like you said, thank you, babe. I really appreciate that. And it's like for people that are watching or listening to this, you know, it's all about running your own race. And right. I think that sometimes when people think about um, exercise during pregnancy, like you said, they think that it has to be, you know, CrossFit or you swinging kettlebells or anything mm -hmm. like that. Find exercises that work for you. Right. Make it fun. Like you said, it could be walking. Like there, there's so much benefit to walking 30 minutes a day. Mm -hmm. Even if you know that, that alone is exercise in itself. And hello, we are approaching summer. It is hot. So you get an extra workout with the heat Shh. too. Um, but finding things that doesn't necessarily feel like a chore or exercise to you, going for a swim, taking a yoga class, um, even if it's running around with your other kids, if you have kids in yeah. your backyard yeah. or, you know, just little things. I think that, you know, oftentimes when we think of exercise, we think just like in the gym, you know, lifting heavy weights, swinging kettlebells, and you can very much do that too. Um, but find something that is fun to you, what you deem um, exercise, because you'd be surprised what what you can what you can get accomplished and what can what you thought was daunting be a very fun fun thing. Exactly. And speaking of fun, like what we touched on earlier was the mental health aspect of it. Yes, I think that also plays into it as well because I know for you over the course of getting bigger because the belly is getting bigger. Mm -hmm. There's been times where, you know, you've you've had a little bit of self-doubt. You've, yeah. you've been like, I feel so big in these clothes or this, this yeah, doesn't fit anymore. Yeah, for sure. This doesn't fit anymore and you, and you get a little bit insecure about it. Mm -hmm. But working out on top of, you know, being pregnant and obviously you're going to get bigger regardless because right. the belly is growing and right. because your baby is growing and that's a beautiful thing. And, mm -hmm. and making sure that you know that, that that's, 
that's first and foremost the most important thing that you're mm -hmm. having a healthy growing baby but along those lines of growing you are growing in the waistline you're yeah. growing in all your clothes and sometimes <laughs> outgrowing your clothes yeah and sometimes that can feel like man i, ca I can't fit in anything and yeah and you've been there several times yes. but when you work out on top of being pregnant and growing in size you can have a little bit of mental clarity to say you know what this is what pregnancy is mm -hmm. but at least i'm doing the active work mm -hmm. to continue to put myself in a healthy position right. mentally and physically yes. and i think that's so important because one day soon for us you won't be pregnant and yeah. you will return back to your regular size mm -hmm. and you will be able to wear all the clothes you were before mm -hmm. and to be healthy on the back side on the mm -hmm. other side of pregnancy is something that's important to you and it should yeah. be important for you as well the viewers because health is wealth health is the medicine that you need and, yeah. and healthy and ha having a healthy lifestyle is something that should be incorporated in your pregnancy but also in your daily life and this yeah. is something that we preach and something we've grown accustomed to and it's a part of our lifestyle so we had to do an episode on exercise and, and health because this is what we this is what we love and i think this is important exactly and you know you want to be able to stick around and see your kids grow older amen you want to be able to play with your grandkids comfortably yep. and see your children go grow and in order to do that you have to take care of you and taking care of you is also being physically active and again whether it's walking it's going for a swim it's doing yoga or trying to active activity you've never done before just incorporating movement um, and adding it to your daily practice is so important because like my husband said um, it's good for the pregnancy it's good for you that having that mind body connection mm -hmm. and then um, also connecting with baby too I've done a lot of different yoga exercises that also have allowed me to connect with the baby and that has helped me develop a deeper emotional connection with the baby through new exercises that I have tried um, and it also helps you to have a smoother uh, delivery and recovery as well. And then one last thing that I'm going to say, so, you know, we're not wrapping too long. I recently found out in a study that moms that are active during pregnancy and that continue to be active has a direct effect on their children and how healthy their children will be. Wow. So um, if that's something that you are interested in, I can try and find it and like link it or whatever, or share it on our Yambors page on Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, but it did show that there's a direct correlation between moms being um, active and physically active and um, it having an effect on their children, how active that they will be. Wow, mm -hmm. that is so pivotal. I'm so glad that you touched on that. Mm -hmm. And as we were saying, health is wealth. So just try to stay consistent with it and realize that you're doing it for your health and for the baby's mm -hmm. health all along the way. And it just helps in so many different areas of yes. life. So we wanted to touch on the exercise part because it's so important. Mm -hmm. Remember to give yourself grace. We can all be hard on ourselves. He, he kind of told you how I was <laughs> when I'm like, nothing fits. But if you fall off a little bit, you can always start again. So just remember that if it's kind of difficult in the beginning, especially with movement and things like that, go at your own pace and give yourself grace. The good thing about when you try anything new, you can always fail, but try again, try again, try again, and you'll find what you love throughout exploring different um, forms of physical activity. So just start. It just all begins with starting incredible way to end it so we're going to end it there my name is shane i'm jen and this is the yambors bye everyone and remember to find joy in the journey and stay active peace <laughs> <laughs> workout complete sir Donzo. let's get it anniversary 13 years 13 Woo! years 13 years and we still feel like we just started dating not too long ago amen that's the key Conversations like this, I think, are super important because as new parents, we have to really evaluate ourselves and us as a couple.